You likely know of John Adams, but do you know Adams Street? It has a lot of history. Home to presidents. It's named Adams for pretty obvious reasons. Uh, the Adams has lived on it. Hubs. People seem to know where we're located. If they're trying to give somebody directions, do you know where the Erie Pub is? You have the directions start there. More of a landmark. Parks and prime real estate. I love all the old, old character in this house and all the old character in a lot of these houses in this area. Adam Street runs nearly seven miles through Quincy, Milton, and Dorchester and is packed with history from the 18th century estate of President John Adams on one end to Meeting House Hill and the first parish church of Dorchester, founded in 1631 on the other. In between are the grand estates of Milton. There's just so much family lore and uh, local history wrapped up in items all around the house. And the vibrant neighborhood enclaves of Dorchester. This thoroughfare was once home to three presidents, one of them just briefly, but others have made pit stops on the road over the years. Yes, even the watering holes on Adams Street have a spot in the history books. Almost anybody that ever meant anything to Massachusetts politics came through these doors over the years. Uh, probably signing with Governor Ed King that far back. And we've been lucky enough to have two presidents, Bill Clinton and Ronald Reagan. John Stenson is the second generation owner of the Erie Pub in Dorchester's Adams Village. And you say Erie. I say Erie, and my father would say era, because that's the proper, but he never got anybody to really say it the proper way. Some even spell it wrong. They spell it E-R-I-E -E rather than E-I-R-E. -E. Erie means Ireland in Gaelic, fitting for this traditionally Irish neighborhood. Stenson's father, Tom, opened the pub in 1964. He came over from Ireland when he was 18 years old. His first jobs over here were bartending. This is the thing he enjoyed. The Erie pub started as a men's bar, but Stenson says it's evolved over the years. It was a men's bar, like the old European and Irish English men's bar. We didn't allow a woman till 1981. Since then, it's been a neighborhood place. A place where locals can grab a pint, something to eat, and catch up with friends. People are the best, especially these people. This has always been a neighborhood place. As his son looks to enter the family business, Stenson can't help but think of his father and his humble beginnings. He would be undoubtedly proud of the way it has lasted for as long as it has. He said, that is a business that will last time and he was certainly right about that. It's also fed and watered a lot of people over the years. <laughs> yes, it certainly has. And it's given them great conversation and a great place to meet. And that's what I'm most proud of. I'm most proud of the customers that come in here. They're a statement of me and my family. While Adams Village has its fair share of neighborhood mainstays, a relative newcomer hopes to achieve that status one day. The Industry, an American Bistro, opened its doors in 2017. We have steak tips and fish and Italian dishes and salads and wonderful sandwiches, great appetizers, some really good specialty cocktails. Together with owner David Arrowsmith, industry manager Brian Laird works to create an upscale yet comfortable dining experience for locals. Most of the people that we see, we might see again and again. They come in, have a nice meal, nice and quiet, nice and easy going. Quincy resident Susan Magoon says she loves the ambiance. The wood and the lighting, and they put a lot, in, a lot of thought into it. It's beautiful and it's comfortable and it's uh, very mature. Her husband, Brian Magoon, is all about the food. His go-to? Scallops, unbelievable. I have heard a lot of the scallops. I eat half for scallops. I eat my own fish for myself. It's good food, good atmosphere. While bar stools are temporarily gone, cocktails to go are becoming increasingly popular. There's the peachy keen, made with peach schnapps, peach vodka, and peach puree, and the fan favorite, Pineapple Express. Bartender Diane Baird says she infuses fresh pineapple with clementine vodka for two weeks to make this refreshing summer cocktail. Laird says the best way to enjoy it is on the industry's makeshift patio. City of Boston, when we open, allowed restaurants to have outdoor space. We never had it, uh, this, is, this is the first, and it actually works really well. A new addition to ever-evolving Adam Street. And back to the Erie Pub, John Stenson tells us the pub never really focused heavily on their food selections.
pouring the perfect pint may have been higher on the list. But when the pandemic happened, everything changed. Stan Sensetti brought in his friend, Sean Simmons, chef of the Parish Cafe, to elevate the menu. The diners we met say they are enjoying the new food and the new outdoor patio in the back. Up next, house hunting with the Adams family. 